Put your hands against the wall, please. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. What's going on? Official police business, ma'am. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present before and during any questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you free of charge before and during any questioning if you wish. You understand each of these rights as I have explained to you. Relax your wrist. I'm in, I'm in jail, and I have been arrested for murder. Uh, would you please tell him I need his help now? Hold on. Yes, hold. Mr. Gossett will call you just as soon as he can. Is there a number where you can be reached? Oh, for God's sake, did you tell him I'm in jail? You blondie. Oh. You're as sweet as you look. Don't look down your nose, Queenie. One of us now. Ferguson. It's your first time in, huh? Yeah, I couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm Tylene. This is my third time in. Uh, what'd you do? Hey, lady, I didn't do nothing. Now, they say I five-finger discounted some necklaces, but I didn't. And what didn't you do? I, um... I didn't murder my husband. Uh, hey, you know, you look like the type. One of them ticking clock stepping wives just ready to go off, huh? I didn't kill my best friend either. Oh, was they doing the hump to hump? Hey, now listen, there was nothing between Stanley and Marlene, absolutely nothing. Whoa, whoa, easy now, easy. I believe you. I'm sorry, I, I, geez, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lose my temper. No, 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 that's cool. Really, you know why? Because this place is just like the world. And how you get by is you stand up for yourself and yours. Don't take no crap from nobody. But hell, her woman never, ever, Apologize. Is this your husband's handwriting? Where'd you get this? We found, we found it. We found it in your friend Marlene's purse last night. Did you show this to Milton? I want to call my lawyer. And I want to call my lawyer now. Yes, ma'am. Shut up, Bruce. Just shut up and listen. How long have we known each other? I'll tell you, 19 years. I was maid of honor at your wedding, for God's sake, Bruce. Was that business, Bruce? No, no, of course not. And what about all the barbecues and the parties and the baseball games? Was that just business, Bruce? <laughs> no, Terry, no. I'm... And let me tell you something else. Your name wouldn't be on the door of Morton, Frank, and Gossiter if it wasn't for Ferguson Furniture City. And I was half of Ferguson Furniture City. Now get off your fat retainer and come down here and help me. Get me out of here. Oh. 
we were lucky. They don't really have any evidence. We, Bruce, we were lucky? Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I'm, I even work in a system that dictates innocent until proven guilty. I, I hope you can forgive me. Can you? I need a ride home, Bruce. You got it. Oh, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but look at the paper. Oh, my God. Bruce, how do I find a killer? I think you should let the police do their job. The police think I did it. Oh. Captain, look what just came in from the Department of Motor Vehicles. What is it? Connie Stewart traded in her car. Where? Briar Falls, a place called Jordan's Auto Salvage and Exchange. How long ago? About a month ago. Same time as the Decker Road murder. I knew you'd turn up somewhere. You want me to contact the Briar Falls PD? No, I think I'll contact him in person. It's beautiful. That's the whole story. Are they looking for this Connie person? <laughs> they don't think she exists. Police must be crazy. You're no killer. It'll all work out. You'll see. Tell me about Stanley. He was my everything. He was caring, he was giving, he was sensitive, but most of all, loving. Well, he had his faults. But overall, he, he was a perfect husband and father. Sorry. No, no, don't Sorry, stop. Go, go on. on. Tell me more about Stanley. It'll make you feel better. Hello? Hi, honey. Oh, I'm just sitting here with Nanny. Yeah, hold on. It's Michelle. I uh, think I'll take it in the bedroom. Will you hang up for me? Sure, sure. Everything all right? Oh, Michelle's having a hard time coping with everything. She wants to quit school and come home. I can't let her do that, not with this Connie on the loose. I never finished college, and I turned out just fine. I thought you never went to college. Well, it wasn't college, exactly. It was like adult vocational school. Where I'm from, that's higher education. What's eating you? Nothing. I'm just, uh, just worried about Michelle. And to tell you the truth, Nettie, I am very tired. Sure. Sleep tight. Thanks. Yeah, she was here. Checked out a few weeks ago. Only her name wasn't Stuart. 
Well, what was it? See for yourself. Any luck, Captain? Well, you swap cars. One of those roadside places out there, right off of 119. I'll run in all points on it for you. I appreciate that. Now, she listed the uh, local residence as the Dixie Darling. You know it? Well, I went out there and talked to the desk clerk. Not much help. Kind of been long gone, of course. No forward and address. Not that I expected there to be. She checked in under an alias. What was it? Connie Ferguson. Connie Ferguson. Probably nothing. But there was a big murder over in Meta Park about a month ago. Stanley Ferguson owned a bunch of furniture stores. You've probably seen him on TV. No. Come on down and say hello. Oh, right, right, right. Might be something. Well, it's worth checking out. Thank you, Clifford. Well, <laughs> the audit turned out better than I thought. What does this mean? It means when you sell the business, you'll have a nice little profit. How nice? 45, 50,000, more. Sorry, we're closed. We need to talk, Milton. I am so sorry about the other night. I, I was just crazy with grief, that's all. I, I knew what I was saying wasn't true. Can you forgive me? So glad you believe in me, Milton. Who killed him, Terry? Why? I I, I, don't, I don't know why. I wish I did, Milton. God, I wish I did. Two of the most important people in my life have been ripped away from me, and I don't even know why. Marlene loved this place. What's going to happen to it? I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll sell it. I'm so glad we talked, Terry. I thought I'd lost you forever. We've both lost too much already. I, uh, I have to go now, but if you need anything, you want to talk? Just call me, Milton. This is Michelle. Uh, listen, you don't know me. I'm a friend of your mother's. My name's Nettie. Uh -huh. I, I hate to be the one to call you like this, but listen, your mom's been in a real bad car accident. Now, now I, I just, you gotta come home, honey, you see? Uh, I made reservations for you. You got a pencil? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, now, take this down. <laughs> 